actually going to start abstaining after today until the wedding. Until the wedding. I'm gonna ask you this one time, and one time only. Are you seeing someone else, someone else, someone else, someone else? No, no, no. Who are you accountable to? You are the only woman for me, woman for me. I cannot wait to make you my wife and my wife. While we kissing Jaheem or repeat, let it loop for a minute. I know it seems like it's being, but we do in the limit. Mets throw back jersey dudes, it's a fitted, that's how I'm supposed to be. You close to me, you and me, a soft leather opposed to read. Mommy, we do everything, you can merge in my lane. Climb over, but watch the emergency break. Hey, yo, I got you. Money's no object, she don't be in them circles with them honeys that gossip. You're a dime like this ten of you. I can lie in the bed with you, I can get high off the sin of you. The routine of the club tipsy around 2.13 Little bit hypnotic, some Louis 13 Kissing on my neck as she loosen her jeans Got plans for the evening, shall I say plans for the morning Getting ass while I'm yawning Jensen to enhance my performance Can't pass up a sexual advance It's an office, how convenient Easy access, put a hole in the best box Bring a mattress You a bot a long time I want sex you Tech you from the front door to your bedroom eh, eh. I confess, I sucker for a pretty face and I can't care less Yo, I can't say no, but I can't say yes uh, Drugs
Yes, Lauren Robinson, please. I'm sorry, Lauren's last day was Friday. Can I connect you with another publicist? Last day, no, there must be some mistake. Lauren Robinson. No mistake, sir. We had a going away party for Miss Robinson on Friday, but I can connect you with another publicist. Relationship. Why do we have to go to counseling? Baby, the church requires it. The church, the church. Plus, you never know what could come out in counseling. I still don't see why we gotta go to counseling. Oh, well, you don't. Turner, my conference call should be uh, dialing in any minute. Good. Bree is going to sit in on the conference call with you. Bree? Bree, I want to introduce you to Ansel. He's the new director of Central Affairs. You two are going to be coordinating often on my behalf, primarily with the new contracts. <clears throat> okay. Ansel, I know your mother taught you better manners than that. <clears throat> Ansel. <clears throat> I know Turner told me. Coffee? Um, no thank you. I, I have some green tea. It's supposed to be better for you. Antioxidants prevents cancer or something. I wasn't offering, but thanks for the health lesson. I think we've met before. Remember, you almost made me spill my coffee. Oh. Yes. I'm out. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> How can I forget? Sorry about that. 
Please take a seat. I've already taken the liberty. So, you're working for Mr. Turner. should be getting married but you know kids these days they put the cart before the horse know what you mean. <laughs> kids are just shacking up and having babies oh, oh but you two aren't of course well, well we recently moved in together <sighs> oh hmm. well how's your mother sweetie oh she's good the pastor will be with you shortly, right this way. Justin's here. Have Thanks. a seat. <laughs> sure. And we'll see you Sunday? Okay. Got it. Stop it. No, this was a bad idea. This is not a bad idea, okay? Just quit being so negative. Please. Praise the Lord. Hi, Pastor. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing wonderful. Good to uh, see you. Yes. <clears throat> How you do? Pastor Smith. Good. Good to see you as well. Mm -hmm. So, I remember when you was just a little something bopping around. Look at you now. You're getting married. I know. So tell me about your plans for the future. Uh, that's a little broad. What about the children? Oh, well, we've both agreed that we want to have kids in a couple of years. Yes, first a little boy and then a little girl. Or a little girl and then a little boy. No, honey. Remember, we, we talked about this. We said it would be nice for our daughter to have an older brother so he could protect her. But an older sister can protect a little brother just as well as an older brother can protect a little sister. Well, you two really understand that you really have no, absolutely no control which one really comes first. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Amen. <laughs> so, okay, we, we got the money squared away and the kids. So tell me, what about premarital sex? Oh, that's great. Love that. Uh, um, you know what, Pastor? We are going to be abstaining starting today until the wedding. We are? We are. What exactly do you mean by abstaining? I'm handsome. Not here, okay? As I was saying, there are going to always be trials and tribulations. But so long as the both parties and persons have something to hold them accountable uh, for their actions and the risk of misdeeds and other infidelities lessons greatly. You know what, Pastor? I'm really glad that you brought that up because I made it very, very clear to Ansel that I will not tolerate cheating. Oh, and realize that cheating is not always a deal breaker, honey. Yes, it is. It is to me. I mean, I've, I've been on the receiving end and I, I just, I just will not put up with it. Baby, I would never do anything to hurt you. Never say never, Ansel. I'm saying never. You know I love you. And I love you too, but all I'm but, saying... Wh where's this butt coming from all of a sudden? But I won't deal with it again. If you both have respect for one another, there should be no reason for either of you to need to stray. You should be able to ask Ansel for whatever he's lacking, and vice versa. You're right. Of course he's right. He's a man of God. Great. Now I know Lauren is here on a weekly basis. But Ansel, what about you? Yes, I, I know, Pastor. And believe me, 
I will come more. It's just first I gotta take care of but some things. Right now, great. Just... Then I'll see the both of you all Sunday. Sunday. See you Sunday. Sunday. Great. I know I'm trying to redo the whole living room, but I want to start with the rugs. But I'm looking for something with some orange in it. Why they have so much stuff in here? I know. This is cute. Girl, no, that is not. That look like wolf hair, dog hair, something. <laughs> Shut <behind>. up. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. Huh? Mm, that look more like you. No offense. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm all right, that's Stardust. Now, what what were you saying about Lorenzo? Oh, girl, I don't know. I just basically fail to understand why I have to be the one to apologize first. I tell you, he's just too sensitive. I don't understand that. I mean, is it my fault he can't take constructive criticism? <laughs> I mean, he's a man anyway. Ain't he supposed to be tough? Whatever. Uh, now, Misty, you know you are not known for your constructive criticism. And what is that supposed to mean? I'm just saying that sometimes you lack what? a little thing called tact. Who? Me? Girl, you? Yes, no, you. No, I have tact. Mm. I, I'm sorry, I have tact. Can't Tell you, the truth and shame the devil. Okay, all can right. We're talking about Nobody the same thing anyway. now. Can I get black? Can you get black? No, can I get blue? Can you? No, can no, I no. Get pink? We're going to have one color in the whole house. We can't have blue and pink oh, and uh, black. Oh, uh, uh. Girl, did she really come out the house with rollers in her head? Yes, she did. Don't you worry about what it is I'm doing. Who are you talking to? Uh, you're the one came outside all unprepared. Okay, okay, okay. What? Okay. Uh, she don't know me? Misty, see, that is exactly what I'm talking about. Whatever. You Lord. need to learn to give constructive criticism. You know she was wrong. I mean, even if she was wrong. And she was wrong I, for that. I, I know she was <laughs> But it's not up to you to tell her, okay? Just chill I, out. I, I got you. I got you. But anyway, what I was saying about Lorenzo, I just, all I said was you just don't wear sandals with socks in the summer. <laughs> no, not unless you're moving to Miami Beach to old folks somewhere. You don't want sand in your toes. And even <laughs> still, you don't do that. It's not cute. <laughs> And you think he's just fly, too. Oh, Socks fly. and sandals. They got the nerve to get mad about it, too. I love it. I love it. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Socks and sandals. You have to get any frozen. Yes. That's even kind of cute, huh? The green runner. Like that. I like this one. I like that one. Mm. not hurt. You're hurt and confused. You see this rock? Lauren does not need you. Okay, you know what? Thank you, Misty. All right, just please just get in the car. I'll only be a few minutes. Waste. You have two minutes. What do you have to say? So, so you just gonna get engaged on me, huh? Where's the confusion? 30 seconds. Don't you think it's a little soon? What? Are you kidding me with this? What, am I just supposed to be in mourning after you left me for another woman? Oh, excuse me, your wife. At least I had the decency to wait until after we broke up. Oh, but we never did break up, did we? You just up and nah, left me. Nah, nah, I, I, know, I, know, I know it might seem like that, but I just didn't know how to tell you. You know I never meant to hurt you. Yes, you did. Or do you forget telling me that you never even loved me in the first place, that you were just using me? I was angry. Oh, and I loved you. 
But that was three years ago, Jeff, and I've moved on now. I still love you. You look great. Don't you dare do that. I deserve that. Look. Lauren. Right. Hey, you're the best friend anybody could ask for. It took me a while to realize that, but what I did was unforgivable. You leaving me saved my life. I just hope he makes you happy. He does. He's everything you weren't and could never be. Yeah. Give me, give me, a, give me a couple minutes. All right. Give me one second. What's her name? Look, uh, I, I just wanted to apologize. Uh, What's her name, Jeff? Miss Sonia. I promise you, no matter how tempting things get, I'll never cheat on her. Well, that's a promise that you need to make to her, not me. That promise doesn't have nothing to do with me. So, can I call you sometime? Uh, you know, as friends like we used to be. You know what, somehow no doesn't seem like a sufficient enough response. Have a nice life, Jeff. King Glamorati, they done cut him loose, let the dog off the chain, and I'm about to put a lock in the game, they call him Chief Fox, from the city of Roses, some hotel ways, you know the business, and we gon' make the hell raise, we gon' make the most hell raise, Ronnie, ha <laughs> ha, yeah, uh, let me hit you back, okay. What is this I hear about these rumors of you hanging out in West Hollywood? I mean, what you do is your business, but... Uh, that's right. My business. <laughs> okay, but how do you expect me to do damage control if I don't even know what's going on? I mean, that is what you pay me for. Hold on. Hold on, Lauren. Do you think I'm... gay? I'm not saying anything, but... The tabloids are calling you a flame. What? And I quote, Hardcore rapper by day, homo thug by night. Oh no. See, see, let me tell you what happened. Okay, I ran out of gas. I get out the car, and next thing I know, paparazzi everywhere. They're taking pictures, and I was just waiting for one of the homies. Okay, whatever, but they have a picture in here of you in a compromising position with... With who? A drag queen. That's nuts. Bree. That's Bree. nuts. Hold on. Uh... I tried to catch you before you left the office. I know you're heading to lunch right now, but um, I need to know you're gonna have those reports ready for me. They are gonna go out by 2 p.m. <laughs> you, the director of whatever, came all the way down here to ask me for reports? Director of Central Affairs, and yes, I did. <laughs> you, not your secretary, needed to come ask me for reports. Are they prepared or not? Do you want to join me for lunch? Uh, I can't 
right now I'm I'm right in the middle of something. But don't worry about it. I understand. Yeah, yeah. I gotta do something back in the office. Do I make you nervous? I don't bite unless you want me to. Wait, hold on. I, I can't believe it! Hold on. Oh my goodness. Hold on, I gotta take this call. They know I'm street. Hey, what's up, Misty? I'm out. Now he thinks he can talk to me like some chick off the street. He got me mixed up, girl. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Just hold on a second. Just slow down. Now, just tell me what happened. Lorenzo. Well, I figured that much. You know what? He has gotten on my last nerve for the last time. I can't do this. I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of him. Just don't do anything drastic. Just wait. No, no. He's out. He's out. He's gone. I can't do this. Nobody. What do you think you're doing? You know what? I need you out of my house. I want you out of my house now. Your house? I pay the bills here, not you. I need you out of my house now. Misty. You get out. What are you doing? Misty. No, he don't tell me to get out. I cook and clean in this son of a bitch. How you gonna tell me to get out? Get out. You know what? Fine. You want me out? I'm gone. Lauren, come get me, girl. Before I do stop with him. I'm with a client right now. Just come get me. All right, look, I'm on my way, okay? Been waiting for someone like you. I'm waiting. Oh, I'm waiting. Oh, yeah. It's just lunch. It's just lunch. Bree, hold on. I am a little hungry. Lauren, where are you going? Look, I have to go take care of something really important right now, okay? Mm. So, tell me a little about your fiance. My best friend. I am in the middle of a crisis right now. What could be more important than that? Ronnie, you are not in the middle of a crisis. Oh. Look, I will make a couple of phone calls and everything will be okay by tomorrow, okay? Please, Lauren, don't go. Lauren! They think I'm gay. You still think I'm cute? I think you're rather sexy yourself. Is that right? That's right. I'm engaged. Lauren, right? That's right. <clears throat> That's too bad. Are you always this forward? <laughs> if I see something I want, I go after it. Life's too short. And I like you. So where do you think you're going? So you're just going to stand here by the door? I know you hear me, Misty. Look, you said what you had to say. You wanted me out, I'm out. Let's talk it over. I want a divorce. A divorce? Thank you for calling. Oh, no problem. 
Hey, Renzo. Sorry I'm late. Ronnie started some mess down in West Hollywood that I had to take care of. Oh, wait, hold on. And uh, here are your keys. Don't do this. Let go of me. And here's your ring. Don't be like that. That was a wedding gift. Talk to her, Lauren. No, there's nothing to talk about. You wanted me out, I'm out. You don't put me out of my house. Just give her some time. I don't need any time. But you can put me out. You call me out of my name. I was upset. Girl, just forget about it. Just, just let's go. Thing at lunch. I thought I saw you walking with Bree today. Who's Bree? Yeah, who's Bree? Man, Bree is fine, brother. She just started. And uh, Maxwell over here is uh, head of the welcoming committee. Ain't that right? <laughs> Please, we just had some business to discuss. Oh, so you couldn't invite your boy? It was last minute. Sure was. <sighs> Come on. I know y'all don't think I get down like that on Lauren. Nah. Did you hear me say that? No, you. Hey, I'm in love with Lauren. <clears throat> uh, you, you said that already, brother, twice. And I'll say it again. I'm in love with Lauren. And I don't appreciate y'all questioning my devotion. I mean, she is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Hook me up. She's not your type. How you know my type? She's not your type. Brother, she's everybody's type. Man, this girl got Platuka and Bladuka. <laughs> she bad, man. She bad. Well, hook me up. Aren't you married? It's called Malome, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> no. Hey, man. <laughs> I'm out, y'all. Mm -hmm. I got some business to take care of. Yo, we going back to one. That was cool, man. Ah. Uh. Alright. Brother, I told you my game is sweet. You got about this much game. Oh man, please, dude. You crazy. <laughs> so what's going on? Gotta go see my father. I ain't been over there in a while. <sighs> That's not what I'm talking about. What? Bree? It's nothing, I'm telling you. Uh, all right, all right. <clears throat> what am I gonna do? About what? I knew it! I knew it! Come on, man. Okay. <clears throat> okay. She's digging me, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I think I got a plan for you. What's up? Ready? Ready. <clears throat> Stay away from her. What kind of advice is that? I work with her. Man, when she comes around, just tell her you got an important meeting or something. You busy. I'm busy? Yeah. I'm the director of Central Affairs. Yes, you are. I do stay busy. Very. Very. Mm-hmm. I like that. I like that. Okay, okay. Answer. Don't do it. <sighs> Lauren will kill me. No. Lauren will leave you.
What's with this mess? And who the hell are all those people out there? What people? Those transients in the living room. And what the hell are you doing in here? I fell. And those transients, those are my friends. Your friends? <laughs> Whatever, man. Do what you want. I mean, what are you doing all day that you can't pick up a bottle or two around here? You're in the damn bathroom. Why don't you take a shower? It stinks in here. My God. Don't nag me. It's as if Myrtle has come back from the dead. And my only sanity comes from knowing Myrtle is dead and gone. Figure it out. Wait. Wait. I don't know why you are getting so sensitive. She was not your mama. Your mother was a woman beautiful. Strong and sweet. Sometimes a man cannot see the forest for the trees. Mm. Did I ever tell you about my trip to Africa? That's beautiful country. I had the women there falling all over themselves for me. And they didn't mind sharing. If you know what I mean. I'm sure it was great. The only thing I regret about my trip to Africa was the fact that I missed your junior high school graduation. Junior high, high school, college, I never meant to disappoint you. I don't have time to listen to this right now. Wait! Wait, God damn it! I hurt, Ansel. I hurt hard. I wish I could have been a better father to you kids, but I can't take it back. I can't. Do you understand? Recognize the blessings God give you in a good woman. You don't have to give me advice on women, Dad. I know you think I'm an old drunk. You probably think you're better than me. Dad. You do. And that's fine. Quiet as it's kept. You probably are. Clean up. Look, I told you that I don't want to talk about it. That chapter of my life is closed. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> ah! Girl, I'm gonna call you back.
talk to the two of you individually, if you don't mind. Uh, doesn't that defeat the purpose of couples counseling? I think the two of you could benefit from the individual attention. You know what? I think that's a great idea. Why don't you go first, baby? Me? Yeah, just, just get it over with. I'll be right outside. Lauren is like a daughter to me. I'm glad she found a man she can trust and that can trust her. You know, the Bible says, he who finds a wife, he finds a good thing. Amen. Is there anything else you'd like to talk about, son? Is there anything bothering you? Mm, no, not really. Like, like what? Something at work? You seem distracted. Whatever you say to me will be kept in complete confidence. Well? Uh, work's a little stressful. with you for a couple days. Are you okay? No. What's going on? Who is that? It's Misty. Lauren, he hit me. He hit you. Why don't you just come over here, honey? Sure? Is it okay with Ants? Oh, yes. Just come over here, Misty. Do you need me to come pick you up? No. tired of this sensitive crap. Every time I open my mouth and say something, he gets his feelings hurt. But I tell you one thing, that's the last time he gonna hit me. Well, did you talk to Pastor Smith like I said? Or oh, come on. I mean, you really shouldn't have tried to work it out on your own before talking to somebody about it first. Look, I shouldn't have tried to work it out, period. Missy, that is your husband. I don't care who he is. He ain't my doggone daddy. And I don't give no man permission to put his hands on me. I don't care what I said. I'm his wife. Look, Misty, I am not trying to make excuses for him, okay? Lord knows if you went back to him, I'll be the first one to kick your butt myself. Girl, you ain't gonna kick nobody's butt. <laughs> Right about that. But seriously though, I have to tell you something. I am a lethal weapon. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> nah, no, nah, but look, you can stay as long as you need to, okay? Me casa. Oh, I love you, girl. I love you too, sweet. <laughs> and thank you so much. No, no problem. She's like, oh, I always thank you for something. Mm -mm. Hey, Nardy and Angel. <laughs> Get you some rest, okay? I'm gonna see you in the morning. Make yourself at home. Alright. <laughs> Good night. Good night.
Is she okay? Yeah, she'll be fine. <sighs> I guess there's never any guarantees when you get married. They used to be so happy together. Are you having second thoughts? No. I don't know. I mean, how well do we really know each other? He hit her. Baby. I love you. And I would never put my hands on a woman. Especially not one as sweet as you. You're beautiful, loving, kind-hearted. You can cook your butt off. <laughs> I would never do anything to hurt you. Secretary fax those over first thing in the morning. <laughs> okay. Bye. What are you doing? I feel like you've been avoiding me lately. Uh, I've just been busy. What? You don't like me anymore? I know I'm not the only one who... Look, what we've been doing is a mistake. There are no mistakes. Besides, we haven't done anything yet. Look, I admit, there is some attraction here. But I'm in love with my fiance. You're, you're right. I was wrong to pursue it. I'm sorry. No way. I was wrong. Knock, 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 knock. Ooh. I'm sorry. Did I interrupt something? Spencer, what you still doing here? Um. I'm gonna talk to you later. I was working late. Man, what are you doing with that woman? Look, I told you to stay away. I know. She just came in here. The woman's trying to eat me alive. Spencer, you gotta help me. You need Jesus. I go to church. But do you listen? Like when a minister's saying, uh, do not commit sins against the flesh. Uh, I am a man who's about to uh, marry this woman. You ain't helping me. Today that we have to be careful how we abuse our relationships. God is saying we have to be careful how we take our young ladies for granted. We have to be careful uh, how we uh, per perceive them. We have to be careful uh, how we deal with them because God is saying that when you find a wife, you're not just finding somebody. When you find a wife, you're not just finding something off the shelf. But when you find a wife, God is saying you have found a good thing. God is trying to get us to see, man, that when we find a wife, God is saying he's ready to open up the windows of heaven and begin to pour out a blessing. And God is saying that blessing comes in many facets. He said this blessing comes as a treasure, a treasure to you that's better than diamonds, a treasure that's greater and can shine sharper than gold, a greater, a treasure that can, can be favorable unto the world to ever ending. And so we find that God is trying to get us to see that when you find a wife, 
you have found something. When you found a wife that you have saw and caught God's attention, when you find a wife, God is trying to get us to see that that's all you really need. God is trying to get us to see that when we find a wife, he said, you've not only found favor with God, but when you find favor with God, God is saying, I'm going to give you favor that have riches. I'm not talking about riches of this world, but riches that's going to last. I'm talking about favor that somebody is going to love you despite of. Favor that God is going to keep having this wife give you hope. Favor that this wife is going to protect you when nobody else is going to protect you. Favor that will last when nothing else will last. God is trying to get us to see that there's a great treasure when you find a wife, a wife that is beauty, that wife that is, is, is awesome, a wife that is everlasting, a wife that is going to keep you and stick by your side when nobody else will stick by your side. I'm talking about even when your friends turn your back, you've got a wife to go to. Even when folk lie on you, you got a wife to go to. Even when folks stab you in the back, God is saying this wife that I've given you has many treasures, a treasure to love you unconditionally. When you mess up, God says she's going to still love you. Even when you don't do right, God says she's going to stick by your side. Even even when you don't act right, God is saying that wife will show favor upon you that's going to stick with you when nobody else will stick with you. The man that finds the wife, God is saying has found something, not just any old thing, but something. God is saying a good thing. And we've got to understand that when God has blessed us, despite of our shortcomings, despite of all the things we used to do, God is saying I'm still showing favor upon you by his grace and by his mercy and I'm willing to give you a good thing. Now this good thing is just not going to open up in the beginning, but God is saying you've got to love this thing back. You've got to shake this thing up. You've got to work with it to get it to what God really called for to do. God is saying when he bring man and woman together, we become one. That means when I hurt, she hurts. When she hurts, I hurt. And God is saying when we love and I love, she's going to love. When I began to forgive, she's going to forgive. When I began to show unconditional love, she's going to show that back in return and vice versa. God is saying this is the kind of favor that comes from the Lord because we know that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and God is saying we've got to have the same old agape love for when we find a wife. So we just don't find a wife but God has shown favor to design and to lead a wife to us. We may have met her at a football game, we may have met her at the club, we may have met her on the street but God is saying when you find her, you found a good thing. Oh, that was a really good sermon today. Thank Pastor. you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll look for you tomorrow. Okay. God bless. God bless you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to see you. God bless you. Thank you. I know it was wrong of me to come, to come here like this. Yes, it was. Hold on my calls, please. Sonya and I separated. So? What has that got to do with me? It was over that incident at the parking lot. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, it looks like you're moving up in the world. I can't complain. You don't have to act like that. All right, I'm here to tell you that I love you. And my leaving you was the biggest mistake I ever made. Well, what's done is done. Let's just leave it at that. Just tell me you don't love me anymore, and I'll leave. Look, you're going to leave me alone regardless. And I do love you. Unfortunately, I'll probably always love you, but I'm not going to continue to make a fool of myself for you, Jeff. I want you back. I need you back. No. Why not? Hello, I'm engaged. You didn't say you are in love. Well, that goes without saying. Besides, I don't want you anymore. Now you don't mean that. You've 
hurt me. I've taken you back a hundred times. And a hundred times you've hurt me. Why would I do that to myself again? Because you love me too. I can't. And you need to leave. back here again. walked right up into my office like we were old buddies. I just gave you some money the other day. They're talking about foreclosing on the house. I don't care, forget it. Forget it. Have you been drinking? I'm a grown damn man. Then you need to act like one and show some respect for yourself. I can't deny that I still have some feelings for him, but I love Ansel. I would never do anything to hurt him. I just can't believe Jeff had the nerve to do something like that. Well, did you give him any reason to think that he would have another chance prior? No. I mean, he probably just thinks that I'll take him back like I've always done. He'll just give me that sad little puppy dog look and everything will be okay. Are you embarrassed of your old man, Ansel? Your mother named you that, by the way. Yes, I know. You seem to feel the need to remind me of that every time you get drunk. You should have been a junior. Oh, God. What's going on with the house? I thought the house was paid for. But I am done with that, Pastor. I'm a different person now. I believe that. But you know, once you give yourself spiritually to someone, you become one. That person becomes a part of you. It's important for you to understand that first, he must put God first, and then you second. I took out a second mortgage on the house to pay some people I owed, and now they talking about taking my house. I'll look into it. Are you gonna give me some money or what? And God has an order in order for a marriage to be happy, not perfect, but happy. He still feels connected to you. Um, and I think the best thing to do is just continue to pray for him. Hmm. You know, I never even looked at it like that. Thank you, Pastor. You're welcome. <laughs> My prayers will be with you. Thank you. Hmm.
Thank you very much. Hey, baby. Wow. What's the occasion? Well, Misty is staying with her cousin Jamal tonight, so we're all alone again. So does that mean? No, Ansel, I told you not until after the wedding, but I can give you a nice bubble bath and then give you a nice hot oil massage. Mm, baby, you're so tense. Yeah. My dad came out of the office today. All drunk and talking crazy. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. I had to go pay his second mortgage. You're about to foreclose on the house. Hmm. After I give you your massage, we can cut it up and fall asleep. Mm, it'll be nice. Great. Can't wait. Oh, don't be like that. It'll be fun. Come on. Man, I can't take this no more. I have got to get some. So what you mean? You guys ain't doing it? Nah, man. Ever since we started this premarital counseling, all of a sudden we're abstaining until after the wedding. Abstaining as in all sex? All sex. Brother, I'm sorry to hear about that, man. The wedding's not for another two months, man. I think I'm gonna die before then. I mean, you've gone two months before. Right? Yeah, but I was single then. Sleeping alone. I wasn't laying next to the temptation. That's like... Waving a bag of bones in front of a dog and telling him not to eat it. So what, you calling yourself a dog now? No, man. What I'm saying is... I don't know how much longer I can take this, man. Bree is driving me crazy. All my thoughts are focused on her. Her lips. Her hips. Listen, man. The reason why you all focus and fantasizing about her is because she's forbidden fruit. Look, the minute you bite into that fruit, man, you're going to lose everything. So stop thinking about it. What? You know what? It. I really like uh, Turner's idea for us to relaunch that first... Five LA campaign. We really need to relaunch that um, in <clears throat> West LA, like immediately. I think it'd be good too at the end of the year. Really? This is Ansel. Hey, baby. Hey. Yeah, I'm going to go out to my mom's house for a couple of days to pick up some stuff for the wedding, so I'll probably be back in a couple of days. Uh, okay. You gonna be staying at your mom's? Yeah. Um, all right, well, call me when you get a chance. I love you. Love you too. So, where were we? I think you were about to ask me over to your place tonight. Is that right? Well, certainly you can't keep a secret. I can keep a secret. Yo, 
Nobody's trapped and it's calling me Well, I'm here to set you free Girl, I just want you nice to me Your body's locked and I've got the key It's time to open up for me When I see you walking down After I give you your massage, we can cuddle up and fall asleep. So that's it? What do you want? What do I want? Don't get all self-righteous on me now. Wait. I didn't mean it like that. You don't regret it, do you? Not yet. Maybe if we do it one more time. Hello? Hey, baby. Hey. What's going on? I tried to call you earlier, but you didn't answer your phone. Yeah, I must have missed it. Well, what are you doing? Nothing. Why? <laughs> I'm just asking. Are you okay? You seem a little preoccupied. No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just uh, reading the paper. Oh, well. I was just calling in to tell you that I made it to my mom's house, okay? Um, she says my aunt is sick, so I'm going to have to go visit her tomorrow, so I probably won't be back until Sunday. Okay, okay. Don't forget that you have that meeting with the pastor tomorrow. I think I'm just gonna relax tomorrow. Ansel, come on. Okay, okay, um, yeah, I'll be there. All right, love you. Me too, bye. Fine. <clears throat> Mom, okay? She's fine. That's good.
Well, I did come over here to surprise you for lunch, but I guess I shouldn't have bothered. Lauren! Lauren, wait! So I'll be back in tomorrow. Okay. Who was that? Oh, Spencer. Spencer. Baby. Are you gonna stay pissed off at me? Are you gonna give me a kiss or a hug or something? I'm sorry. When you came in, I was just busy. I was right in the middle of something really important and I needed to get it finished. And when you came in, you caught me by surprise, that's all. Come on. All right, I'm sorry. I guess I just jumped to conclusions or something. Come on. yeah. <laughs> Glad you bought your butt home. <laughs> I missed you. Thank you very much. Where are you going? I'll be back. 
Where are you going? Hey, Misty, it's Lauren. I need to talk to you, so call me back. Spencer! You did What am I gonna do? Um, hi, Jeff? Uh, I need to talk to you. How am I going to tell her? You don't tell her. You end it with Bree and throw that old bone in the closet. I suggest you tell her tonight. I can't. What you mean you can't? I know we just end up having sex again. Brother, are you that weak? Look, you got a good woman. A beautiful woman. Look, why are you gonna throw that all the way over some girl you hardly even know? Hold up, man. You got me feeling like a chick right now. Don't be no ass. You're right. You're right. Then call her right now. Now? Yeah, not now, but right now. Hi, baby. Did you change your mind? Are you busy? No. Can you meet me? Sure, sweetie. What, what's up? I'll talk to you when I see you. This is a bad idea. No. I don't know. What's going on? Me and my fiance, we we got in a fight and over what? I don't know. I, I think he's seeing someone else. I'm sorry. I can't do this anymore. I understand. It's just not right. I can barely look her in the eye. So, what do we do now? I don't know. 
Should we just act like nothing ever happened? Can you do that? I don't know. I appreciate you understanding. I came in knowing, sweetie. I just wish it would have lasted a little while longer. You're special. I guess I'll see you at work. Yeah. Baby? Well, I never thought I'd be saying this, but if you don't know for sure, you can't go around jumping to conclusions. I'm not stupid, Jeff. Lauren? Just ask. <laughs> Just ask. <laughs> yeah, right, like he's really gonna tell me the truth. Just ask him. Believe me, then you'll know whether or not he's telling the truth. Or you can charge it to the game. Go ahead and get married and hope he's learned his lesson. Have a bunch of kids, get fat. <laughs> <laughs> Live happily ever after. your wife we got separated mm -hmm. I told you that <laughs> got any kids I don't know about none that I know about <laughs> <laughs> The same place you've been. Out. So that's how you talking to me now? You walked out on me, remember? And I apologize. So where'd you go? I just needed some air. Well, so did I. Lauren. Lauren! Lauren, open the door. Sleep on the couch. Lauren! Good afternoon. Hi, Pastor. <clears throat> I suspect the both of you are blessed today. Doing pretty good. 
I missed you this weekend, Ansel. Yeah, I, I apologize. Something came up this weekend. I understand. <laughs> is there something I should know? You know, this is the last session before the wedding. Yeah, Ansel. Is there something I should know? I told you I needed to rest this weekend. And I told you not to miss the appointment. Look, if you're not into this or if you're having second thoughts or something, you should just tell me now. Because I don't need a man who's just going through the motions just because that's what it takes to get what he wants. What is that supposed to mean? <sighs> what are you talking about? I'm talking about you. Ever since I came back from my mom's house, you've been tripping. That's because you're always accusing me of cheating. I'm not accusing you of anything, and I never even mentioned cheating. So if you're feeling guilty about something, then that's your fault. I don't feel guilty. Then where were you this weekend? I told you my father was having some problems. Do we have to talk about this here? Ansel, we are in counseling. What better place is there to talk about it? My father has nothing to do with this. Are you kidding me? Your father has everything to do with this. Have you ever even thought about bringing him to church? He needs help, Ansel. What he doesn't need is somebody who constantly enables him to keep on doing the same damn thing. I'm sorry, Pastor, but... So now, all of a sudden, you're all concerned with my father. Ansel, don't act like this is the first time we've talked about this. May I interrupt? Excuse me, Pastor, but just hold on. Who are you accountable to? Myself. All I needed to know. Excuse me, Pastor. Thank you. Where are you going? Lauren! Lauren! Excuse me, Pastor. someone else. No. 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 Baby, I love you. It's you I want to marry. And I want someone who loves God more than they love me more than he loves himself. Dee, what? 
Steve. Steve. You don't remember. Steve. <laughs> Stuttering Steve. And you know, I used to tell him, just spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I frustrated him too. <laughs> no. I officially filed for divorce. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And you know, I've been thinking about what you said. You know, about talking to Pastor Smith. Oh! <laughs> Misty, that is so great. <laughs> That's good. That's really yeah. good. He's going to help you out a lot. Yeah, but girl, you know, it's been a journey. You know, and I, I finally realized that there's just some things you just can't get through without God's help. Ain't that the truth? Mm-hmm. And that's probably why I had it so rough. Yes, indeed. You look different. Different how? I don't know. Just different. It's true what they say. When you go through a whole lot of stuff, it shows all over your face. And I guess you're right. Yeah, that's all right. You're strong. My girl. <laughs> <laughs> Learn from the best, huh? Yeah. Do you know what? I miss you. I miss you. Well, you here now. You mind if I stay and enjoy the fire with you? Of course. You can stay all night if you want to. Okay, we'll break Aunt out Solari. the champagne. <laughs> Are you accountable to myself? I just 
need to get away. If you are reading this letter, then I am gone. I can only hope I'm not jumping to conclusions. But I know I'm not tripping because that's not my earring I stepped on in the living room. I gave you every chance to admit you're wrong. But you didn't take it. I can't say that I don't love you. But I can say that I know who I am accountable to. And that is God. You might want to try and find out how you can do the same. You're gonna be looking at my face and my wallet. What do you think? Oh yeah, you shot. Cue to the button. Cue to the button. I'm gonna be alright. <laughs> Believe it or not, I understand why you didn't want to tell me you've been seeing another woman. I guess I made it clear that I wouldn't accept it. That still doesn't give you the right to pretend it never happened. I hope you find the real Jesus. And I hope you found your real true love.
gotta met the one, man. Man, you always think you met the one. Where'd you meet her? At the club. You ain't gotta meet the one at the club, man. There are some good ones at the club. <laughs> I go to the club. My point exactly. <laughs> You're not talking about that weird girl you met the other night when we went out, are you? She's not weird. She's a little bit different. No, not different. Weird. <laughs> the girl's weird. All right, see if I tell y'all anything else. <laughs> hey, Ansel. You talk to Lauren or what? Nah. That's messed up, man. I was almost married. Yeah, it's my fault, though. I messed up. But don't worry about it. She'll come back. I don't think so. You still talking to Bree? Nah. We're too different. This wasn't any more fun after the hunt. Yeah. You really like this girl? Yeah, man. She's cool. You know, the Bible says he who finds a wife finds a good thing. If you really like this girl, you should make her your wife. Damn what everybody else says. King Glamorati, they done cut him loose, let the dog up the chain, and I'm about to put a lock in the game, they call him Chief Fox, from the city of Roses, it's a motel raise, you know the business, and we gon' make the hell raise, we gon' make the motel raise, then we gon' blaze, how I got pain, push a lane to lane, and if it ain't full blown, leave it at home, park it right outside, if it ain't no grown, make the motel raise, then we gon' Might go faster, dog. Chase suckers over vape the law. Fade them all. 454, and I ain't gon' stall. Like a rock, my Chevy's a hole. Pound for pound. False gate punching the trunk next to the pump. with surround by the sound. Not the third of beast like Luda. Raise a Buddha. Flip game like Karma Sutra. High speed left as Burgundy MB. High rocks and Pirelli's is the way I seen. They got highway patrol. Interstate troopers. All they see is pipe like Boda. Room that ain't sauce from the crime.